Welcome to another video from TTI. If you're a car enthusiast or car lover and looking for the coolest, amazing sci-fi vehicles, then this video is for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video, my friend. Number 7. Nautilus Car Hollywood has created countless unique vehicles for their movies. No one can deny the car's beauty and stunning craftsmanship. The success of the car depends on highly creative people. This time, two units are produced of the Nautilus car for Captain Nemo in the film The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. This car used throughout the film and was also featured extensively on the film's posters. The chassis from a Land Rover fire tender. A fiberglass body was then added and a steel subframe then constructed in the engine bay to house its Rover V8 engine. Six wheels which decorated by ivory gold of 28 inches diameter. In the Tyrell F1 layout, two axles up front that steer, one at the rear. In the front, there is a beautiful elephant, which is Ganesha, a Hindu god, which represents comfort and spirituality. The whole car also raises and lowers itself in spectacular style via a powerful hydraulic system. What usually happens with vehicles built specifically for a movie? The result was a car perfectly functional and sold out at price of $165,000 in 2003. Guys, I want this car, but I am not that much lucky. Number 6. Tron Legacy If you saw the film Tron, then surely we are all alike. The scenes in which the protagonist rode on the famous light bikes, these vehicles seemingly futuristic and amazing. These bikes had been manufactured and auctioned a few years ago. After the premiere of the film in 2010, the company Parker Brother Choppers designed and sold 10 of these replicas and a year later, another company called Evolve launched another version of its replica. They called Xenon Motorcycle. It has almost as spectacular design as the film, and chassis is manufactured from carbon fiberglass, hardened steel frame. Also, it has an electric motor with batteries that provides 96 watts of energy needed to function. Its top speed is 120 miles per hour, and its coolest electric bike, which run 160 kilometers with a recharge of 15 to 35 minutes. Guys, if you want to impress your girlfriend, then this is the best bike in the world, but sadly, it's not for mass production. Number 5. The Giga Horse. The Giga Horse is first appeared in Immortan Joe. The Giga Horse is a custom vehicle driven by Immortan Joe. The vehicle is built from scratch with a powerful and sophisticated drivetrain and highly modified body. The car is built on a custom chassis with a body made of two 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville's sitting on top of each other. The Giga Horse is powered by two Chevrolet 502 SID big block V8 crate motors. Both engines are connected through a custom gearbox. The engine setup is fully functional, generating approximately 1,200 horsepower. The vehicle is equipped with tractor tires, the rear ones being 70 inches in diameter. According to Colin Gibson, the Giga Horse managed speeds up to 125 kilometers an hour. The designers also had to fabricate their own wheel rims. Each axle has pneumatic suspension and leaf springs, plus what looks like hydraulic shocks. Number 4. Batmobile, 1989 Tim Burton's live-action films Batman and Batman Returns presented a different version of the Batmobile, which reflected those films' Art Deco version of Gotham City, both of which were designed by Anton Furst. The Batmobile is an electric wizard that is filled with gadgets, computers, and calculators. It is voice-controlled with an interior that features controlled seats, aircraft instrumentation, and a weapon system that includes two Browning submachine guns. It has a jet turbine engine which powers this seasonal creation from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 3.7 seconds. It was created to be the ultimate in automotive styling, engineering, and design. Everything on this supercar was handcrafted with all the latest in space age materials, alloys and parts. It is covered with 70 coats of black pearl and acrylic lacquers. It was long, low and sleek and was built in a Chevrolet Impala chassis. The Tim Burton's Batmobile is now housed at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles. Number 3. The Tumbler. The Tumblr Batmobile used in the Dark Knight movies goes on sale for $1 million. 
The film's production designer described the machine as a cross between a Lamborghini and a tank, which is better than Tumblr and it's able to walk up and down stairs through walls. This can rise on its rear wheels and even jump on the roofs of buildings in a movie. But its real version does not have the ability to fly like the film version has. The car having same power engine can be legally registered to run on the road to show greatness. It is nearly 5 meters long, 3 meters wide, and weight 2 tons. It has an 8-cylinder engine. The Batman Tumbler is powered by a Chevrolet Corvette V8 5.7-liter petrol engine that produces over 500 horsepower and can be registered to legally drive on the UAE roads. It has LED headlamp system, rear tires of 44 inches, and having air conditioner system with multiple cameras, which makes this model a spectacular beast. James Edition say that while it's street legal, it's not exactly a replacement for your usual vehicle. Number 2 Audi RSQ The Audi RSQ is a mid-engine concept car developed by Audi AG for use as a product placement in the 2004 sci-fi film iRobot. It is meant to depict a technologically advanced automobile in the Chicago cityscape from the year 2035. According to some reports, the Audi RSQ uses an all-wheel drive transmission and the V10 engine from the Lamborghini Gallardo. A challenging task to German engineer is that designing a car which is not a super hot car, but also it should be loved by audience and film for advertisement and publicity purpose. Number 1 Land Rover 101 FC 101 FC came into being in 1995 when Land Rover were approached by Hollywood Pictures to supply vehicles for their film based on the 2000 AD comic books. Director Danny Cannon approached Land Rover as, in his eyes, Land Rover would be the only one capable of building vehicles tough enough to withstand the toils of life in Mega City 1. It has 3.5-liter Rover V8 engine. It has curious feature of dynamic trailer. In this case, two-axle sentence with three-axle and it's even articulated. This car doesn't have air ventilation system, which make it less comfortable inside. It recently appeared in LRE magazine, being driven around off-road course by James Taylor. This vehicle built on chassis truck, 31 copies are produced, which made up of fiberglass to represent taxi a future in the film. It is available in multiple color, such as yellow, black, blue, and more. After completion of this film, some of its models surprisingly available for purchase today. Wow, you can buy it, check it out. Thanks for watching, I hope you like it. Guys, tell me which is the most coolest and exciting vehicle, which deserves your interest, and why. If you're new here, then feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you in next video.